One of the cornerstones of the USITS law is investor protection. What does this mean? Appropriate assets. USITS investment funds can only invest in so-called transferable securities or other liquid financial instruments such as shares, bonds, money market instruments or even other investment funds. Liquid investments can be sold or liquidated in a relatively short period of time. Under certain conditions, USITS are also allowed to invest in so-called derivative instruments, the value of which depends on other securities or benchmarks, such as stock price index or interest rates. Direct investments in real estate are not permitted, although non-USITS funds can do so. Investment limits. USITS are designed to spread risk and to avoid the risk of you relying on only a small number of assets for your investment returns. For instance, a USITS may invest no more than 10% of its assets in any one company, which reduces your reliance on how well, or not, a single company runs its business. No more than 40% of a USITS assets can be investments in companies that each represents more than 5%. This is known as the 5-10-40% rule. There are many more investment limits, all designed to increase diversification and thus spread and reduce your risk. Risk Management all investments in assets bear certain risks. The USITS law requires fund management companies to apply appropriate procedures to ensure that they have an overview of all risks at all times and can react immediately if risk rises to levels that are too high. Risk management activity is independent from portfolio management. Prudential supervision, control and safekeeping. USITS are supervised and controlled on different levels. Moreover, their assets are protected in a special way. Fund management companies must have a clear structure with a qualified management team and an independent supervisory body or administrative board that acts in the best interests of the investors. Another important task is fulfilled by the custodian bank, which holds the USITS assets and maintains a clear separation between the assets held by the USITS and those assets held by other investors. If the management company or custodian bank goes bankrupt, the USITS assets are protected. Management companies and custodian banks report to national authorities and undergo regular checks by auditors. Fund information. Fund management companies are required to publish various documents. These include the offering prospectus, which details the investment policy and strategy, the investment limits, as well as the risks involved in investing in the USITS, and the KID, or Key Investor Information Document, a concise overview of a USITS main features, written in easy to understand language. The half yearly and the annual report inform investors about the fund's composition, the portfolio management company's activities and the USITS performance. Other aspects of USITS investor protection include a guarantee that all USITS assets are valued in line with market conditions, which ensures that the value of your investments is always up to date. So to sum it up, investor protection lies at the very heart of USITS. This brings to a close the first series of our podcasts dealing with investing and investment funds. Join us soon to learn more.